Hi, my name is Kevin Babington and I've been asked by Horseport Ireland to show an example of a typical training session that we've been working on during this pandemic. Uh, we are getting to the end of our lockdown here in the US and the horse show, the, our first national horse show is opening up next week. So we're probably going to jump a little higher than usual. Um, today I'm working with Gwyneth Babington, my daughter, and my old partner, Mark Hugh. Gwyneth has taken over the ride on Mark Hugh since uh, my accident, but this was always in the works for her to take him over this year anyway. Uh, it just, we moved up a little bit quicker than we uh, planned on. Um, we're gonna turn now to Gwyneth and Mark Hugh, and Gwyneth can tell you a little bit about her mileage, her unfortunately short time mileage in the saddle since uh, unfortunately she only had about four or five horse shows and then we got the lockdown. Hi I'm Gwyneth and this is Mark Hugh. Um, I started riding Mark Hugh sometime around December and then I showed him for the first time like late January um, and we finished uh, at a meter 45 but now after the lockdown we're just getting back into that level and um, we're excited to show next week. So today uh, we're going to work on getting Mark Hugh to relax. Um, he is a fighter in the ring. Um, he loves his job. He loves to show. Uh, at home, he tends to get a little bit tense when we start jumping. Um, this horse on the flat can do tempi changes, but when we get in the ring, sometimes you're lucky to get the correct lead to any, to any line. It varies from show to show. So we're gonna try and slow his brain down a little bit today take a little time in the corners when it might break back to the trot every once in a while to get him focused to get him to relax but what I always like to think about at home is at home you can compromise balance compromise the rhythm for the balance at the show sometimes you have to compromise the balance for the rhythm because of the time allowed so today we'll make sure that he's in the correct balance to every jump we can possibly get him to and uh, we do a little bit of long and low work because he is a horse that has a bit of a high head carriage and a little bit of an upside down neck. So when I have a horse that's built like that, I like to work them a little bit deep in their frame at home and then let him go on his natural carriage in the ring. As I mentioned before, we're just loosening him up a little bit long and low on his frame. When you ask a horse to bend in its body, always think about moving the shoulder to the haunch. So this horse tends to drop its inside shoulder and carry its hip a little bit to the outside. So it's very important that Gwyneth thinks about moving the shoulder slightly out to allow the inside hind leg to come under the body. And obviously this frame we're working on is a bit deeper than you'd have him in the ring, but it's only to get his back to relax and to, to encourage him to stretch. Once he walks in the ring, his head will come up, so we're working on the back muscles. We're going to do a lot of rollbacks in our work because I find when you're in the ring, most of your is issues show themselves when you're turning. A horse is falling through the outside shoulder or falling in on the inside shoulder. So it's very important to address this in your flat work. Good. So this horse has a tendency of dropping his left shoulder so Gwyneth focused on keeping that inside shoulder up. Try to encourage him to stretch by working your fingers slightly. Good. The one thing I always encourage my riders is to keep a good trot through the turn, forward through the turn, so the horse can slow down and judge that first pole on the ground. Never push him at the poles on the ground. Excellent, excellent. That's what we're looking for. So you just want to make sure he doesn't throw his hip to the outside off the left approach. And you notice there, when she had that left shoulder up, he never broke his rhythm. Now we're going to allow him to bend to the, le to the right, but we don't want to lose him through the outside shoulder this direction. But don't overdo the outside rein. Very good. That was very nice. Very good, Gwyneth. Little inside flexion.
So I'm very happy with that and forward to the walk. So we're going to warm up. We're going to warm up over a couple of verticals here. I'm going to do two verticals off the left lead, two verticals off the right lead. Mark Q tends to get a little strong at home. So if we can keep him bending around the inside leg, he's less likely to make a bid. And lift. Take your time. He, like I said, he's not good with the lead changes, so we have to just slow his brain down. Keep the inside flexion. Good. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to maybe see if we can let it flow a little more. Very good. Very good. Take your time in the corner. Lift the inside shoulder. Very good. If he makes a bid, Gwyneth, you're going to raise your hand to keep him on his hind leg. If he's relaxed, you follow with your hand. Raise your body. Raise your hand. Very good. Take your time on the lead change. Now, as soon as you get the balance, you follow again. Very good, very good. And he actually stayed quite level there because he got a little bit tense on the corner. We'll do it one more time. Raise the balance slightly. That's it. Good correction, good correction. Lift, take your time, take your time, take your time on the change. Very good, and you can see why we have to slow his brain down at home. We have a little gymnastic set up. It's a nice preparation for our up and coming horse show. I have about a trotting poles four and a half feet apart, nine feet to an X, 10 and a half feet to a bounce distance, 19 feet to a vertical, 21 to an oxer, and a steady three stride. Now we have to Take your time, pick the balance up, get the lead change. We're working on flowing through the turn and meeting the jump on a waiting distance. Good. He likes to run in a little bit deep, but she was good in her upper body to make that correction. Keeping a little inside flexion here. Give him space, good correction. And on, when we're jumping into a short end of a ring, they're more likely to land a little bit disunited. Um, so it's a good training exercise because you have to deal with this at home. So this gymnastic is said a little bit short, but I don't like to make them work too hard. I, I want this horse to be relaxed in his work. He tends to get a little quick. He has to slow his brain down. Good. Very good. Uh, that's... Once you get the balance, follow in the canter. Good. Take your time. Step out. Very good. Keep a little inside flexion. Good. Lift. So we're going to try that left roll back again. So we're, what we're working on now is making sure he doesn't drop his inside shoulder. So we have to follow a little with the outside rein. Give him space, good. So even trying to give this horse space, he still wants to run in a little bit deep, but I'm quite happy with that. Very good, and be disciplined into the downward transition. So today you got a, a chance to watch a typical school for Mark Hugh. Like I said at the beginning, he's a horse that tends to get a bit on the muscle at home. 
once he starts jumping you have to deal with the lead changes uh, I was quite happy with that school it's very humid in Florida today we're in Loxahatchee about five miles from the showgrounds and the temperature took a change about three days ago so the horses have to acclimate to this humidity normally I would do a little more but we're going to leave it at that today thank you so much for taking the time to watch our training session and please be safe and stay home until the world is open for some good show jumping again thank you